some point. I'm it'll... nervous. I'm nervous. Yeah, wow. <laughs> On my drink. Fuck. Josh! So I, I, I... What you, what's that face? <laughs> I didn't do shit. <sighs> okay. There you go. Okay. I also don't know how the name cards are going to work since we're not uh, on the same screen. Well, whatever. Okay. I'll figure that shit out, everyone. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hey, want to start this? Yeah. Or how? I don't know how. Did you say do I or did you say how do I? How? I don't know how. Cut to Tori. And then cut to me. Ah. Uh. And then cut to Tori. <laughs> and then me again. Welcome. It's junior varsity <laughs> now with 100 percent more cuts yeah so <laughs> we have two cameras because we're fucking rich oh this is stressful i know it's, it's really weird yeah. now there's two of them and i don't it's like makes my fucking skin crawl we're trying something new for our audio listeners there's two cameras now instead of one um yeah. and we're figuring out if we like it i think i already do okay i think i don't i think it it keeps us more engaged, you know, like I was saying, because like see your hand in my camera. <laughs> <laughs> I can see kind of oh, whatever. I said it's cool. Yeah, no. Yeah, I like it. You don't think it's cool? No, I do like it. It's All just right, new. Cool. It's new. Yeah, I'm not even going to bother with what we talked about last time because I don't I don't really care, honestly, guys. Uh, no, don't fall care. Guy. OK, it's no, fine. I don't care. You don't care. Just a spelling bee or whatever. Mm hmm. But I don't care because it's a new week new with new week. topics and two cameras. And two cameras. Two cameras. <laughs> two. I feel, I'm now just remembering. I feel like I've worn this exact outfit to a shoot before. You have, I think. But who cares? I care. Have I bit. ever outfit repeated in my life? No. But who cares? Because I'm more, you know, conservative. For sure. For yeah. sure. Yeah. Where do you shop usually? Like, where do you go for clothes? I like Target. These are from Target. I like H&M. Did you cut them yourself or did they come like that? No, they came like that. They came like that. Yeah. Okay. I can't do that. I like belt loops and shit. Oh, so. yeah. No, that is a problem. But I haven't worn a belt in ages. Okay. Also weird to say. That's I only true. thrift because I'm, right? I'm different. I know. So, Yeah. But I go to the, I used to go to the mall, like embarrassingly. So it's not embarrassing to go to the mall. There's yeah, but one I, mall in our area that I hate to be seen at, but every other mall I like. What the one that is like? The one close? where all the weird high schoolers go. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that weird. Uh, it's just you gotta brace yourself because you know you're gonna run into someone. Yeah, yeah. It's whatever. That was mm -hmm. yeah. That's where that used to be the spot, bro. Mm -hmm. I used to go to Zoomy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I shouldn't be admitting that. That's okay. Oh, it's I wonder how many times. What's up? No, nothing. Go on. I yeah. wonder how many times before we met, we were in the same place. That's been so in the same interesting. Area for yeah. Our I've, whole lives pretty well, much. I used to play sports at your school. True, true. A little and bit. And I probably played softball at your school. No. No. No, no, no. I don't think we ever had games at our school. Did we? I feel like I was there. Oh, you, you, know, you know more than I do. Yeah. That's so weird. Yeah. Or at the mall or something. Yeah. I Amazing. once got a shirt from, speaking of all this, I got a shirt from Zoomies when I was, I must have been like 13, 14, that said uh, 40s and shorties on it. It was a white, I mean, no, it was a yellow shirt and it said 40s and shorties in like this little word art ass font and uh my mom saw it and then i never saw the shirt ever again. So, yeah. yeah i think good call yeah oh my dude my mom is so fucking funny she like we we're getting it was my sister's graduation which happy graduation by the way happy graduation anyone celebrates yeah. um and we were talking about like getting noodles or whatever and, and she called them nudes or whatever <laughs> in the car and there's like a bunch of us in the car we're all laughing and she's like what is what's funny and then later that same night, like I brought it up again to like my cousin or whatever. And my mom's like, why is that? Isn't there's like, it's nudes. Like don't people call them, call them nudes. And then she was like, cause 
my brother had a like an air freshener that said like send nudes on it but it was like it was like a bowl of noodles and it said right. send nudes and she's like doesn't it mean like noodles and i'm like yeah For, yeah definitely yeah oh my god it does i can't do that to her oh that's funny yeah, I'm yeah, gonna break no, her heart. Noodles. yeah it means noodles nothing it's else noodles. that's funny that's it my best friend isabella recently told me that her mom has been listening to us on her drives to and from work that's alarming it's just so a mom a mom yeah because i i don't even i have my mom doesn't even know what this is called and that's so intentional um (laughs) but i don't really care what her mom knows and i love her mom a shout out to isabella's mom what's her name what's her mom what's her mom's name yeah do you not know patty patricia shout out patty (laughs) shout out patty (laughs) oh yeah but i forgot to put up a spotify episode for like a are week. you lying wow we lost one viewer last <laughs> week <laughs> i'm so sorry in my head i did it i don't know what happened uh, no that's okay yeah no it's cool it's no cool. one told us anything so um i want to get into something you told me like last week or two weeks ago okay. your little money laundering scheme Ooh. that you're into now yeah Okay, so... Because <laughs> it's fucking weird. Yeah. Well, there's a new one since we've spoken. Um, a new one? Yeah, I, I'm, in, I'm involved in two of them now. But one seems more legit than the other. For context, a couple weeks ago, my boyfriend was house-sitting for his sister who's, like, married and, like, in her 30s. So, aka so something content. I... What's that? <laughs> so much content that this is needed this is needed okay okay sorry, sorry. ryan makes fun because he says every time i tell a story i need to start like a month before it happened but yeah, this is that. necessary conduct okay the point is i was looking at the house and i started panicking because i was like i don't know how i'm going to be able to afford a home um or like to rent a home right um I'm a little too eager to start in adult life with Brian, which is another talking point. But the point is I started panicking and I was like, where am I going to get money? And so I just Googled like um, places to get money. And there's <laughs> there's an app called Sweatcoin and Sweatcoin will pay you to walk. Every time you take a certain amount of steps, you get a certain amount of sweat coins and i've been doing it at this point for about two weeks and we can check on my sweat coin balance because i your sweat coin balance my sweat coin balance i currently have um 69.85 sweat coins what's that to usd that's the problem i got excited when i first joined this because i thought well i already made 69 dollars not quite you can redeem your coins in um in the sweatshop and sweatshop. <laughs> and but the thing is <laughs> you can't really get anything. For five of my sweat coins, I can get fifty percent off my first grocery order at Misfits Market. For five sweat coins, I can join Weight Watchers for just five dollars a month. So I'm still paying the five dollars, but it would have been more some other time presumably um yeah i basically i can't get shit with this sometimes i can enter a lottery um so right now this month's um raffle is for one stream deck which what the fuck would i use that for um but then again like you know supposedly the thousands of people on this app are also entering the raffle and so i'll never get it but whatever i keep it open because i figure maybe one day it'll be worth something and then it could it could like but what? like what like what what is on this that you'd be so ecstatic about i'd like a house one day <laughs> do you think <laughs> you can buy a house with sweat coins but i also <laughs> just joined another app this one is called miles and here my miles equate to some other type of money so for 13 thousand five hundred miles i can get ten dollars on paypal i currently only have 819 miles but you know like actual miles Mm -hmm. like 
distance like if i drive somewhere i can claim those miles if i walk somewhere i can claim those miles i can also take surveys to get extra miles so i feel like miles is actually going to do more for me than sweat coin um but the point is i want money so just be a normal girl and open up a depop (laughs) you don't need to do all this stuff that isn't that honestly that's true you should just just do that (laughs) every, every other person just does that you want to fucking every other person. you want to like walk for money that like <laughs> do, doesn't even make i do sense. a lot of walking naturally you see so <sighs> yeah but the, you know you can do you thank you it's fine thank you i uh i don't do anything like that i put like 20 bucks into bitcoin one day and i just i, <laughs> I check it every now and then and you I know what forget. i finally watched i remember dumb money yes really? did you ever watch it because i remember you and brian i watched it with brian it. yeah okay, shit it yeah. was really good i didn't like it that much okay it's a boy movie it's fun that's i was literally thinking i wonder if i don't like this because it's <clears> for <throat> boys i love the reason i wanted to see it was because the cast was like stacked and the trailer seemed really funny but then the execution just wasn't great but i wondered how much of it was just because i don't care about finance like that yeah no that's a big part of them I, I feel like it's different like it's not really it's not like a relatable story it's just like more like a documentation of what happened yeah or like not exact documentation but i liked it for that reason i was just interested in the situation like when it was happening Mm -hmm. and i don't know anything about finance or like crypto or fucking stocks i have no idea how that shit works i feel like a lot of men in their 20s like when they're depressed just get into it oh 100 percent um and i'm not depressed i wouldn't say yeah i mean What's worse, I have a SoundCloud. Oh. Mm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, oh, my fuck. God. Wait, do you have any points before I move on? About what? Dumb money? <laughs> no. <laughs> About anything. Okay. <laughs> Speaking of, because you said <clears throat> SoundCloud, and I was thinking of music, and we need to talk about... Mashup Girl. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, we're, we everything we talk about. No, is I, <laughs> no. I guess I didn't. Transition we have a that too we well. have a fan who's pretty consistent named Mashup Girl who a friend makes. We have a friend who. That's how they start Parasite. <laughs> okay. Look, all due respect. <laughs> um, but she made a little. I mean, she makes mashups all the time. But she made one for us specifically, specifically for us because for she took us. a screenshot of. Can you even Danny, see him on my camera? I don't. I'm worried. He's more on your camera. Danny Pudi. He took us. I mean, she took a screenshot of Danny Pudi. She did. And then layered "Man on the Moon" by Brockhampton and the Community theme song, which is like both of our interests. Yes. Into one thing, and I'm just sitting here like, how do you? How even do you think, think of, of that? that? That's what I was like, what thinking. Like, and it worked so well. But I would never even think to Not, do yeah, that. Yeah, because it started, and I was like, "There's no fucking way." Oh shit! Okay, the what the hell? And yeah. it worked out great. So yeah. Thanks. Thank you. Mashup I was like girl. dying when I saw that. I was freaking out. Yeah. I was all. I was. I was. You know, it's just crazy how we have so many fans, and like we're really blowing <laughs> up and shit. It's just kind of, you know, I try not to let it get to my head, but <laughs> shit, mm-hmm. dude. If this is how it works, then right. so be it. Right. But seriously, thank you. Thank it you. It was super cool. It was so cool. Appreciated that. You're so cool. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and we still are. I keep saying it. We're going to do more shit like that. Oh. We've been saying it for like yeah. many episodes now, but we still have more variety planned yeah we just need to figure out a proper way to plan Let me just get it out of it. school yeah no. i'm so close to done and then i have i had like 20 assignments due yesterday are you for real it was so bad that's disgusting don't get it wrong i planned incorrectly mm. i had all the time in the world to do these i just didn't do it because like why would i do it but i will some te- some professors, sorry, don't know how to use Canvas at oh, all. Oh, true. They yeah. don't know what they're doing. No. They, because they're so insistent. Oh, don't rely on just the calendar. You have to look at the modules and all the things in the modules. For, uh, fuck your modules, first of all. Second of all, you don't, this professor, who's very lovely, by the way, I'm just sorry. You just, you got got. <laughs> she put, oh my God. She made all the quizzes and stuff throughout the course due yesterday may 31st 
when we're filming this, it's June 1st. Happy Pride Month. Happy Pride. Shit. Yeah. Um, I saw all the quizzes due um, today, like two weeks ago. I was like, whatever, I'll just do it then. But I'm doing all the quizzes and I'm like, wait, why weren't these quizzes in the modules for like the weeks that we do? You know what I mean? Like module right. one, it was week one. Right. It was the reading. It was like the discussion. But then no quiz. The quiz mm. was not in the modules, and it was, but it was on the calendar on like the 31st, which is like the very last day of class. And I'm sitting here like, dude, what the fuck are you doing? These old people need to learn how to use technology just a little better. Sure. I think Canvas, I think people from Canvas need to fly out to colleges to give a little <laughs> course on how to use their fucking platform. TVH, yeah. Because every school uses it, which is great. I think Canvas is great. I think it's cool. I think there's a lot of things about Canvas that I like that like other platforms that I've used for school like didn't have. Did you ever use like Blackboard? No. That was shit. Mm. That was fucking ass. Google Classroom is like okay. It's oh, not amazing. Exactly. Yeah. But Canvas is good. It's just some professors don't know what they're doing, which is I'm we got to pay them less. We got to cut their pay. We got to We've always said that. We got to cut these teachers pay. Yeah, we've always said that here. These educators think they're the shit like <laughs> I swear to God, like, they never teach us some shit we actually use. <laughs> they never teach us how to get, like, a Lambo. No. How to get rich. Where's Lambo class? Lambo class. <laughs> Where's Lambo class? <laughs> <laughs> Wanna know what they say? Lesson one? Okay, download sweat coin. <laughs> yeah. And they mild. would say that. They'd say, <laughs> When I get my own car and it's funded by Sweatcoin and Miles, you guys will see. Oh, shut the you fuck guys up. will see. My first car is gonna be funded by Mr. Bees <laughs> <laughs> after a comment that I made. Yeah. Oh my god, I thought I was gonna get. Did I already talk about this year? I thought I no, was you, gonna okay, get. Okay, but there's one. there's something you didn't mention to me because I I re-downloaded Instagram recently mm. and I checked my notifications. <laughs> <laughs> my only notification was a comment that Tori made. <laughs> On Mr. B's <laughs> post about a new car, she tagged me and our other friend Seb. Like, it's because we were on a call when it happened. Oh, really? Yeah. That's when it happened. Oh, okay. I thought it was just before, but like no. you were telling me, like, oh, I didn't get Mr. B's car. I'm like, oh, yeah. I checked. <laughs> you I fucking used, tagged I me. I used you. Yeah, I did. But How does that? Dude, I feel like the if you win, the people you tag should also win because like you helped them. Respectfully, if I got that car, you had nothing to do with it, Josh. You tagged me. Yeah, I tagged you. I put in the yeah, effort me. to tag you. Yeah, me though. Yeah, my account. You. <laughs> my shit. Right. And what would you want? A car also? A Tesla too, as oh. well. Mm. Have you driven an EV? Yeah, the car I drove. Or the car is I drove here is a hybrid. Does it have the regen so braking? I lied. Yes. Okay. The yeah. Hybrids have that shit. Yeah. I drive an EV for work, and then I'm, Slide. like, getting used to it. It's super weird. I don't... Like, I like it, is but... Is it weird? I mean, it's, it's weird in the sense that, like, I've driven, like, a gas car my entire right, life. Right. So I'm just not used to it. But I do I do kind of like it. Mm -hmm. It feels, like, futuristic, and it feels like... Because when I was a kid, I thought that's how cars worked. Right. You know what I mean? And I thought, like... Because it didn't... It, like, freaked me out, like, when I took my foot off the gas for the first time, and it was just... It mm -hmm. kept going. Mm -hmm. So that's cool, I guess. But it is weird. Yeah. I need to get used to it. Mm -hmm. Speaking of cars, I'm kidding. I don't have a transition. Oh, that was bad. That was really bad. Yeah. Um, well, I guess if you were going to talk about Instagram, do you want to talk about something else that was happening on Instagram? You can uh, look. Every episode, I do a fun little thing where I put our little name cards. At the, I'll put it up right now. Fuck it. Our little name cards. It's a weird time for that. Fuck it. And it says Josh, and then it says under that, at Avila Region. Does everyone know what I'm talking about? Are we all on the same page? Okay, cool. Avila Region is my little creative company that I've been working on since I was like 12. I'm still like not super clear on what it is. Mm -hmm. But as of right now, it does like creative direction and visuals and like helps artists put shit out um with like the aim of like you know just collaboration and like 
getting stuff done. And this summer, two artists, two are dropping. Shut up. For, or not for, but like under my creative direction and doing. Um, so everyone should tune into that because I worked very hard on it. So follow Avila Region on Instagram. I'm working on a website, so don't do that yet, but soon. And stay tuned. Josh works hard on everything, and he's the coolest, and all his music is the best. I was so excited when I saw the Instagram posts. Thank you. Did you like the graphic that yeah. I put? Dude, I, I think it's okay to say it, that I fucking creamed myself when I made that graphic, because oh, it is I like- I you the, hadn't said that. But like, dude, just go to my account and look at it. Like, it's okay to have the same reaction I did. Like, it's okay to like, even cry Sorry. a little- you can cry. It's, that's fine. No. You can be excited, though. I was excited when I saw it, for sure. I just think it's cool, you know? You ate. I ate. I fucking ate. What's four plus four? <laughs> I almost said two. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why. Oh, my, my God. Head. Brian, like, had to get... He was, like, house-sitting for this other house, and he was, like, trying the to get fuck? their dog to eat for a while, and they were, like, having trouble. And then oh. he texted me one day, and he was, like, Callie ate. And I was, like, oh, Callie ate. But, no, Callie, like, ate her food. Callie um, ate. Callie ate that. Callie ate. Yeah. Me when Callie would just put out isolation. Callie ate. Callie ate. For sure. <coughs> Who else ate recently? <laughs> Me trying to find. Uh, did Vince Staples eat? Oh. You wrote new Vince Staples, but I haven't heard it, to be honest with it's you. insane how, for someone who, like, constantly says to everyone that, like, he's not really into this music shit, and he does it to survive, and, like, he's, like, he's... Like, I think it's, like, super easy for artists, like, and me included, to, like, love art and be, like, romantic about it and be, like, super, like, in love with the fact that, like, we are artists and, like, oh, like, pain and all that shit. No, dude, he just goes to work, gets it done, has little introspective moments in his songs, and then puts it out. Wow. He has not missed. I don't know how you do that. Like, what the f- He has three albums in a row that are so fucking good. Wow. How do you do that? What's wrong with you? I listened to his, um... Or I didn't finish it, but I started his, uh... Interview... Fuck. I forgot his name. Zane Lowe. He did an interview with Zane Lowe mm. for Apple Music. Mm-hmm. He's just so, like, well-adjusted and so, like, in tune to what he's talking about. He's wow. so, like, mature. He's so, like... He's not... I don't know. I, I can't describe it. Like, I don't want to say like, oh, he's keeping it real, because that sounds corny. And if someone told that to him, he'd be like, I'm just like being myself or whatever. Right. But, man, it's just so good. That's so great. It's so good. I love. I'm so excited for him. Oh, yeah, also more Vince Staples news. Um, I'm pretty sure it's got confirmed, but there's going to be a season two of the Vince Staples show. Oh, fun. I didn't watch, but it's did pretty you good. like it? Okay. I liked it. Uh, if you're into that, then you can tune into that because it's funny and it's cool. And Vince Staples is so talented. If you watch Abbott, he's on Abbott, or he was for a little bit. Yeah. Oh, and Abbott season three finale happened recently. I haven't watched it yet. But <clears throat> I've, been, I've been keeping up and I am. How are you feeling about Manny? Let me get something straight here. Okay. I don't love the whole district storyline at all. Mm-hmm. I'm not a big fan of... I feel like this is something that should have happened later. Yeah, yeah. Janine just started teaching. Yeah. And I'm not saying you can, like, rise up the ladder, like, in two seconds. Because you, you can. Right. But, like, I would have loved for that plot to be there, but, like, way later. I like, agree. season five or some shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? I think having the season start with that was like super jarring i agree and as far as manny goes i it's so funny because like and it's no fault to the actor 
um because that's just how he plays the role but like there's something kind of like sinister oh i don't trust him about him yeah, yeah. that's what i was gonna say like because first you don't trust him because he's district and like right. you're siding with the teachers throughout the whole show mm-hmm. so you don't trust him but then when he talks like he's polite but there's also like you kind of question his like yeah. motives and shit and then you don't like him because he's like he might be a potential like love interest for janine and everyone wants janine and gregory to get together and yeah. shit like that so there's a whole lot of you know fuck manny energy in the air and shit yeah. uh i'm kind of like whatever about him how do you feel about him i i don't know because i i like you feel like there's something like suspicious coming and i can't tell how it how intentional that is i did watch the entire thing i will say that so does something suspicious happen i'm not gonna say anything i'm not gonna spoil it for you or the people i apologize yeah okay well then i'll find out but yeah as of right now i'm hesitant and obviously i'm team greg um greg yeah i've never heard anyone call him greg before sorry gregory like close with him like no i apologize i don't know him I feel racist sometimes because my favorite character is Jacob. Oh, you are. <laughs> <laughs> I feel really racist. Yeah, you are. He just gets the most laughs out of me. Right. Because he plays the character so well. Like, he's right. so corny. He's the he's funniest. So... No, Janine's the, the funniest. The white guy's the Janine's funniest. Janine's the funniest. Janine's the funniest. Good. Janine's the funniest. Janine's the funniest. Quinta Brunson. Quinta Brunson, Quinta Brunson, Quinta Brunson, Brunson, Quinta Brunson is, Brunson is the most talented excellent. showrunner of all time. This is far from over. <laughs> Um, I don't think it's politi- I don't think it's political to say what had happened. But Trump recently, our former president, Donald J. Trump, he got caught in court um for Job. for being too right <laughs> six charges of caring too much <laughs> seven charges <laughs> of laughing too hard <laughs> two charges of live laughing and loving. my understanding is it was like a hush money situation like yeah he, it was yeah. hush money but i did not make that joke by the way that was, that was like some tweet i saw i forgot <laughs> by who um yeah, I, uh, my takeaway, we were talking about it before. My takeaway is like, not to say who cares, because obviously it's a big deal. He's a former president and he's like, he's now a, I don't know the exact title, but I want to say like convicted felon. Yeah. Which is like, is it insane to like have that, like Donald Trump president convicted felon? You yeah. know what I mean? Like, it's so crazy. No, for sure. Um, but I say it's not that big of a deal because I feel like ultimately, like, this won't impact anything yeah at all i'm confused because i guess he can still run into me that is stupid he can still run um i was listening to npr because i had to and uh they were talking about this guy forever ago who like ran his like campaign from prison oh so i guess this has just always been a law because we're land of the free home of the brave you can do whatever you want um so i feel like (sighs) i'm sure there's pulls out already but his image won't really tarnished to those who already like followed him no i've been watching videos of like there's these two guys i love and i can't remember what they're called but they like go and interview people at rallies just to kind of see how dumb they are and mm-hmm. they're all like oh no this just makes me love him more you know? yeah exactly he's an underdog no underdog. <laughs> i don't know if that's the word he's a giant tower with his <laughs> name on it underdog <laughs> what are you talking about yeah. but i also when i was listening to npr because i had to I, uh, they were talking about something called like, oh, fuck, I forgot what it was called, but like negative, negative voting or whatever. I'm probably fucking up the, the term, but it's like where you get like higher voter turnouts, but not cause someone is so, I mean, not cause everyone is so like in love with who they're voting for, but it's to get someone else out of the question. You know what I mean? Oh, right. So in this election, it'd be like, you know, with Trump getting convicted and stuff like that, now everyone is kind of like, oh, we can't have a criminal be the president. People are voting for Biden just because they don't want Trump right. in office. And you can right. argue that that happened even last election. That's what I was going to say. Yeah. Um, but like when people say, oh, we've had like really high voter turnouts, it's not a good thing. It's only because we don't want, you know. Yeah. 
people in a I mean certain people in office over others um but yeah that's as political as we're gonna get on here no I'm gonna yeah no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say something I'm gonna say something crazy um I did have something crazy to you had your laptop that you were gonna look at topics on okay yeah you're right I'm constantly I no just, one can see it I I'm, feel bad like I, I don't want to be like, you know, like iPad baby. But no, it's uh, way cool. Let me see. You look way more official. Okay. Than me with my fucking little iPad. Okay. Shit. Yeah, look at me. Yeah. Just doing my job. Okay. The crazy political thing I want to say is I, I know we talked about if last week, but I just right. remembered something else I wanted to say about <clears throat> if. And it's that sure. that's a terrible name for a film. <laughs> and I... I this happens like every few months like a show or a movie or an album or a song will come out and i think you need to be strategic with the way you name things i think anytime you have to refer to something as like the movie that's a problem i say this with it and it's one of my favorite movies in the world but the movie it i should not have to say the movie it if it was called Pennywise, I could say, oh, Pennywise is my favorite movie. Why do I have to say it, the movie? Because it doesn't make sense. Same thing with if. Why should I have to say, oh, if, what are you talking I'm talking about if the, it sounds stupid. So that's my statement. I disagree. What do you have to say, Josh? The SpongeBob movie. Well, I don't mean it like, I don't mean if it's in the title. I mean, if I have to add it to the title to clarify what I'm talking about. You know what I mean? The Spongebob movie. Isn't it called the Spongebob movie, though? Yeah. <laughs> I see I see what you mean. I like the, okay, I, I, I totally get what you're saying, but I love the title It. Mm. You know what I mean? I love that title. Because mm -hmm. I think, I like when things are named like not conventionally mm -hmm. like i love the brockhampton song title naming convention because mm. like it just makes no fucking sense but it does right i love shit like that and by extension i love that to the movie it and other things i'm not a big movie guy i can't think of whatever um but i get what you mean if if the movie not cute yeah yeah maybe if it was a better movie we'd have a you know right but it was a shit movie yeah have you ever seen i think you should leave no but like a <laughs> it's a sketch show on netflix and i was like joking about it the other day with brian and yeah. he was like what's that from and he but i thought in my head i was like the way i said it i say it in the way you would say a title like i said it like i think you should leave like not like i but he literally thought like i was joking like how do you not you know what it go. is like get out of here whatever but yeah. i guess that's another example of you know, but <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I think of um that one clip of it was like a town hall meeting somewhere or like a city council meeting, and um this guy says I don't know what exactly he says, but he says something about like some racist shit, like oh like they need to go back to like where they came from, like if you don't like it, then you can go back to where they oh, came from. The Everyone <laughs> gas, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you need to. Or was it? What is it? Isn't Which it you thing? need to leave? You need to leave. <laughs> it's so fucking funny. Dude, that lady. Oh, God. Such a guttural, visceral thing to say. Oh, yeah. Uh, speaking of movies, guess what I saw in theaters with popcorn and an icy and a fucking butter in the popcorn. And then it was, I went to fucking, I hate this movie theater, God forbid it, but Burbank movie theater, the AMC mm -hmm. with the fucking on the strip or whatever. And I fucking hate that movie theater, but I was there. Please tell me it was Challengers. It was Challengers. <laughs> Oh my god, let's talk about it. Let's say everything about it. What did you think? I fucking hated it. Shut the <laughs> fuck up. <laughs> no, that's not true. Is that true? I didn't hate it. Did you like it? I liked it. I didn't Josh. love I didn't love it. Josh! I know, I know you love it, and it's like bisexual and it's amazing. I get it. I totally get it. I'm not here to rain on anyone's parade. It was a good movie. Mm -hmm. But when it ended, I turned to my girlfriend who I was watching with. I said, What the fuck was that? why is said, this everyone's that? comment no 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 no. i'm not freaked out about anything like i think the weird parts of it albeit it made me a little uncomfortable but like that's good that was like the intention you know mm -hmm. what i mean it's supposed to be like kind of uncomfortable you're, you're supposed to be spoilers by the way but I, I don't, it should be out of theaters by now but like 
the moments were like it was fucking insane i think you're supposed to be like ew you know what i mean like why did she cheat on her fucking husband or like why did she spit in his face like that or like the weird like intense like slow motion bits or whatever right i don't know i just didn't i didn't i didn't love it Mm. But why did you love it? Please tell me. Well, there's a billion reasons I love it. Sure. What I do want to say is, similarly, my when I saw it, the first time I saw it was with my roommates, and the second time I saw it was with my boyfriend. At the end, they both went, oh, I don't get it. I'm confused. I'm just not sure what we're confused by. Um, I was confused. Some movies leave me confused, but I like that they leave me confused. Okay. Like, there's like There's room for like yes. personal like exploring in the That's in the movie. what I think. I think... If you're like, if you're confused, like, oh, like the ending is ambiguous. I think that's fun. I think that's a fun thing to talk about. Sure. If people were telling me they were confused by the timeline. They could not have made the timeline clearer. They do, they very specifically, they make her hair short and they make his hair different and then her hair's long. And it's right. like, if you like have eyes, then you can easily tell. I wasn't tell. confused by the timeline. I just didn't love the way they went about it. That makes sense. I feel like they could have did like a little better job at like... I don't know. Right. Like, I kind of like when movies, like, start where they happen. That makes sense. Which is, you know, it, I mean, I'm sure there's, like, many exceptions to that. But, yeah, I was, I was confused. Mm-hmm. Maybe mm-hmm. everyone who's told that to you is a little dumb, maybe. Perhaps. A little stupid. Because then, Brian also said he didn't like it because it wasn't relatable. And at <laughs> first I was like... <laughs> I was trying to, like, give him the benefit of the doubt, but then I told my roommate about it, and she was like, well, what does he say when he watches, like, The Avengers? And I was like, say. yeah, that doesn't... I, I'm like, what the fuck? So, I guess my argument is... <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Like, I think if you can't relate to, like cheating on your husband that's good if you can't relate to like being a tennis star that's okay but what i think is relatable is like the aspect of like tashi having a dream that she can't fulfill because you know she's injured like oh have you ever wanted something and then you couldn't have it and then you gotta live it through someone else i think what's relatable is like art being so in love with tashi that he like becomes you know a fucking dog in a sense like i it's all unrequited no yeah 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 I but never I, got. You never got what? I never got. He's a catch. Unless, oh, I don't yeah. Know. No. That's the one, that's the one I said. Oh, that's the one I said. I said maybe after you watch it, you might think he looks more like Brian. <sighs> yeah. So here's the thing about that, too. Mm-hmm. If you're not aware, um, Tori was saying that um, Art in the movie Challengers looks like her boyfriend. I won't put a picture of him because I respect his privacy and shit. No, it doesn't. And he doesn't even, at least not with me. I'm not sure what the fuck y'all do, but not with me. He does not act that way. Like, he is very, like, I get what you mean. He's, like, more reserved. He's a little more shy, a little more quiet. I didn't mean, like, but, behavior. I mean, like, like movement or, like, move. but. <laughs> Are you the fucking predator? No, I am. Are you, like, tracking his fucking, like, no, I, people? <laughs> okay, never mind. <laughs> I just don't get it. <laughs> He said not relatable. That's so <laughs> I was thinking like he like walks out of Guardians of the Galaxy. He's like, exactly. Raccoons don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck was that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I, I mean, I feel like the thing is like with movies and shit that has like a very specific plot, like good story. I mean, I guess you can argue like Challenger didn't have like good story or whatever, but like good story to me is when like you can take something that is so specific and then make it relatable precisely like um this book the book i'm reading right now does this or it talked about this example but like in the movie moneyball have you seen moneyball now no but in the movie moneyball it's all about this like manager of a baseball team he's trying to like make the best team on a budget who the fuck can relate to that? You know right. what I mean, you can't relate to that service level, but you relate to like his passion yeah. and his drive and his want to like be great, even though he doesn't have like as many resources as a team, like, you know, like the Yankees or the Dodgers or whatever, yeah. but he's working with what he's got to like make it to the top. Mm-hmm. That's relatable. I related to this movie in the sense that like, like we were saying, I wanted like you, you know you want something but maybe something's preventing it and stuff yeah. like that i think it was a little like weird in the sense that like 
there wasn't really a goal in the movie mm. i guess but like you don't need that for a movie Mm-mm. um i was never confused i mean i was confused sometimes sometimes people were laughing during the like in the theater like during like serious parts and i'm like can oh. y'all shut the fuck up please like what I mean, maybe it was funny to people, but it was when, um, like, he, he did, like, that specific serve during, like, the final match. Oh! Like, no, oh. That, that, that part was funny. Yeah. But, like, for some, I mean, maybe it's just the way that I saw it, but, like, mm-hmm. his, like, smile after that was so sinister. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like, he, like, looked like, the actor does a good job of, like, looking like a fucking villain. Oh, And yeah. he invades personal space a lot, which is, mm-hmm. every good villain does that. Yeah. Um, but, like when he did that and he did that smile i was like oh my fucking god yeah. that's like chilling almost but people were like oh. oh no my theater was like gasping you yeah gasping. you should be that's a gasping yeah, yeah, moment yeah. bro but it was funny when art like broke the slow mo he's like fuck off yeah. <laughs> that was funny also i didn't love the slow motion bits at all i didn't either that was the they were too long they were I, way too long i agree i i still gave it a five on letterbox because i like consider it perfect but like my main complaint with that was the slow mo shit and I, I get what they were going for, but that's just never and been I, my thing. And I hated the the techno music during it. Oh, the, shut the fuck up! No. No, 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 it's a good choice, good genre. Um, the implementation, though, like there's some moments where I felt like it would have been way better without it. That's it. Okay. Just some moments. Okay. I didn't, I didn't like it for that. Okay. But it was cool. I think it was a good like medium to choose, uh, not medium, good genre to choose because mm-hmm. like it totally fucking contrasts like everything about the what was happening in this in the movie but yeah no i mean after it ended i was like kind of weirded out not weirded out but i was just like "Eh." right and my girlfriend was like oh i loved it and i'm like well i didn't i didn't girlfriend smart well i was gonna say i didn't like it for like the nerdy reasons that no one fucking cares about like pacing and shit like that but it was a good movie it was a good watch good flick um I fuck that daughter, I guess. Like, fuck that kid. Like, no one cares about that kid, I guess. What kid? Their kid. Lily? Is that oh, her name? I don't know. I love Lily. My favorite line in that movie She didn't is, even fucking say shit except for, can we watch Spider-Verse? I love her. My favorite line in the movie is when she says, Lily likes hotels. They do all of this just because she likes hotels. She That's loves so she loves her kids so much that he she slept with another man okay. while while her husband <laughs> went into the room to comfort her. Okay, okay. I thought it was gonna lean towards like, um, like they, like they all have like a mutual relationship and they're just like a poly relationship oh, like powerhouse that just like is good at tennis oh my God. and then but then like one of them caught feeling i was insanely wrong but, right you know. right my favorite fucking tweet there's there have been so many good challengers tweets in the past however long it's been out but my favorite tweet is it's like a picture of art in the scene where he like yells at the end and it's like he thought being bisexual was for one oh, day yeah. only <laughs> he mad he mad as as <laughs> <laughs> that's funny yeah also i did it wasn't clicking for me until Zendaya, what's her name? Tashi. Mm-hmm. Tashi like yelled, come on or whatever. And mm-hmm. I was like, okay, yeah. Cause she said it in the, like, somewhere, I forgot where, but she was like, I just care about tennis. Like yeah, yeah, I yeah. just want tennis. I want to see good tennis or whatever. Yeah. I think it was when she like made them compete like for her number. Yeah. Yeah. Like she was like, I just want to see good tennis. Mm-hmm. And that's clearly, I don't know if people are confused. That's what she got at the end. Yes. She wanted to see good tennis. Thank you for getting it, Josh. Yeah. Precisely. Sorry for being uh, media literate. <laughs> Some bitches aren't. And it's clear as fuck. I have a transition for you. If you'd like it. For LGBT month? Transition? No. That was a but good we joke. could do that. That was a good joke. Sorry, go on. Oh. Mm, go funny. On, no, on. I no, get quick, it. I get quick, it. Quick, oh, quick, sorry. Quick, quick. Josh O'Connor has been cast. Josh O'Connor played Patrick in Challengers. He has been cast in Knives Out 3. Um, this whole week, we've been seeing a lot of, like, gradual Knives Out 3 casting. We have? I mean, <laughs> I mean, if you're paying attention, we have. Um, and what I wrote when I first wrote this down is I wrote, the Knives Out franchise always buys their cast at the Hot People store. Because the past two movies were stunning and perfect, and I'm always so excited to see who they're going to cast. When I wrote that, they had cast... Josh O'Connor, K. 
Kerry Washington, Kaylee Spaney. Kaylee played um, Priscilla in Priscilla, and I thought she was so good. But now I'm like, I'm curious what direction their casting is going because they just cast Mila Kunis, which I just she doesn't Mila give like Kunis. Knives Out to me. Like I like I you know. Um, she strikes me as someone who would like voice a teenage girl in an adult animated sitcom okay, funny. who like wears a beanie all the time and right, like, kind of gets sure. bullied constantly by the cast for sure not knives out though no yeah and then <clears throat> you know who they cast jeremy me, renner jeremy <laughs> what actually <laughs> yes jeremy renner is gonna be in knives out three and like uh, i'm well, excited because like i could see that maybe right like it's like funny but it's like oh actually like, i don't even know why i'm saying all this i've never seen a knives out film oh what the fuck josh what do you mean does it count if my family was watching glass onion at a family function and i was just like and i walked away I guess you can say you like look that. I looked at. I looked you at it. Looked at it for sure. I looked at it. I think. I think you would like them. I think they're both phenomenal. I liked. It's like murder mystery, right? Like they're Dennis? both okay. murder mysteries. I'm, I'm down for I that. I kind of liked Glass Onion better, even though the argument is that the first one is the best. But like everyone like likes them enough to like keep showing up, just because like it's a fun. It's like fun. Like it doesn't even need to be like good. I but think it's, it's like, smart fun. to do like franchises per genre yes i think it's really smart to do that's that. what i was gonna say because i'm so tired of this fucking like i don't know there's so many things that like don't need sequels but i like that knives out like the only thing that is consistent really is that the main detective is like going to solve all these cases oh i thought really okay yeah i thought it was like a rotating cast like completely every time which like it kind of is but well, i yeah. thought it was like complete like, oh not, no 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 the like yeah. the thread that makes it like the franchise is the guy who plays the detective Daniel Craig. Sorry. Daniel Craig. I can't remember his name. The fool who made The Office? No. What? <laughs> Did he make The Office? Isn't, there, isn't the guy who made The Office named Daniel Craig? I think that's Craig, Craig Daniels or Greg Daniels? Or... <laughs> I, <laughs> Is it really Craig Daniels? Sorry. I, I, My bad. I wrong. My bad. I, it's something Daniels, though. Okay. Um, but yeah, so that one detective is the one who solves all those cases. Oh. But then, like, every cast is different aside from that so it's like i don't know i feel like that's a good way of going about things because you get a new story every time yeah i'm trying to remember i'm trying to think of other franchises that do that and i want to say like ocean's 11 right or isn't like a remake it's like a heist movie i've heard of it but, but they, i think the most recent remake was like with all women i think good <clears throat> bad terrible <laughs> why are we giving women roles I'm, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> <Just> like that. <laughs> That's from I Think You Should Leave. Oh, uh, what prompted okay. that conversation. Have you seen that back when Euphoria was popping? Like that one tweet that was like, when I get into a, an Uber uh, and the Uber driver's name is Joe King. Oh. And it was Maddie going like, bitch, <laughs> yeah. you better be you better joking. Be joking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cool. I was, just, I was just wondering. No, Do you I have thought, a transition. I also Sorry. thought that was funny. You're looking at the screen. No, I don't. I keep looking because I'm in search of one, but I forgot I'm supposed to be using God this. Damn it! I Tori. just feel bad. You have a fucking new. I feel bad. I feel like snazzy. disconnected. But no, it's per. You, you look so professional. I appreciate that. And I'm just sitting here with a fucking yerba mate. Well, I guess very I lemonade. By the way, if anyone is curious. <gasps> okay, I do have a transition since you're bringing up beverages. Oh. I have a problem. I'm addicted to Celsius. Alcohol. Oh. oh. Not yet, but I'm addicted to Celsius and I I it's been a, it's been an event. We Basically, all we all go through it. It's fine. We all go through yeah, it. We all go through it. I tried one <clears throat> like my first Celsius was Honestly, probably like my first energy drink was my first Celsius. I had mm -hmm. like a sip of Brian's in December and I thought it was good. It was like a peach flavor. Mm. Then I had one like at work one day and it was fine. Then my friend bought me one because we had like a long meeting. Mm -hmm. And when he bought me that one, it was cherry lime. And that was when I discovered cherry lime is my favorite flavor of Celsius. Then I had another one probably also at school. Basically, every time I was having one, it was like in the daytime. And I was starting to tell people like, oh, I've been really liking this cherry lime Celsius. And then they asked me like, oh, like, does it work on you? Because like, you know, I have caffeine and whatever, whatever. And because I was having it at like 12 o'clock, I was like, I don't 
think so. Like, I don't particularly feel more energetic. That's the same way I feel with, like, coffee. Like, I don't know, I was already going to be awake, so I couldn't tell you if it's working. Then, at a four-day weekend last weekend, because it was Memorial Day and then I don't have class on Fridays and you don't really need to know all this, but there's a gas station by my house that sometimes my parents and I walk to for fun. And every time I go to the gas station, I get to buy a snack. And so I decided my snack is going to be a bag of trolley sour bright gummy worms which i love Mm -hmm. and a cherry lime celsius and i bought this and then i walked back home girl snacks girl snacks girl snacks and i got home and i sat down and whatever whatever and i ended up doing so much work that i did not end up having my snack until 9 p.m and then Ooh. it turned out I was awake until 5 a.m. <laughs> and I did not notice until the day after. I literally thought like, oh, like I just have, like I'm, <laughs> I'm just feeling good. Like I'm going to keep doing work. I'm going to watch my movies. Like I'm just, it's a four day weekend. I can do whatever I want. It was not until the next day that I went to Target and I bought another one. And then I was up until 5 a.m. that day Ooh. that I realized, oh, Celsius is are indeed effective. Well, now I just <clears throat> want one all the time. I had a third one that weekend and then that was when i noticed like my mouth was twitching and i felt like (laughs) i described it as early onset panic attack like the way i feel right before one but i never actually had the panic attack but i was like oh this is probably all related that being said i had another one like two days later i'm obsessed i'm obsessed and any problems that it's causing i feel as if i can cure with another one (laughs) Having a panic attack. Yeah. Just down another one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I love Celsius. But I, I try not to have energy drinks if I'm just going to be doing nothing. Mm-hmm. I mean, nothing meaning like non-active shit. Right. Like I'll have one like before I go to the gym, but like that's kind of it. Mm-hmm. Other than that, I'll have coffee. But I got into energy drinks pretty bad in like, damn, like my sophomore year of high school. Mm-hmm. Um, I was into Alani and those are like fucking shit, dude. If you don't like, if you don't no, they're good. Oh, like oh. I was saying like, damn. Cause right. like, if you haven't had energy drinks, like that's your first one. It's fucked up. Oh. Like I couldn't sit. <laughs> I was like working on music and stuff and I, uh, I had to stand up the entire time. Wow, that's <laughs> like actually I had, crazy. I had my laptop right here. I was like, fuck. That's wild. <clears throat> yeah, but it was pretty bad. I got like into that shit. Um, and I haven't stopped. And I'm afraid I'm caffeine dependent. Mm-hmm. I think I might be. Hence mm-hmm. the yerba mate. Right. And uh, I think that's just like how, that's how America works. You know what I mean? Everyone works. And yeah. we need coffee to do it. I mean, caffeine's a drug at the end of the day. It's totally normal to get addicted to a drug like that. Not normal to get addicted to drugs. It's Sorry. normal to I get addicted to drugs. Could have phrased that a little better. Um, one time I, it was like 9 p.m. I had a bunch of homework and I was like, this is going to take me all night. And I'm so tired. I need a Yerba Mate. Okay, I'll down one and I'll go. I finished my work at 10 not off of Yerba, I just misjudged how much work I had to do. <laughs> I was up until 6 a.m. Not even fidgety. I was just up. That's I was crazy. just awake. It was so bad. That's wild. Yeah. I think that day actually fucked up my entire sleep schedule. Oh. Maybe. But it's, it's gotten better since then. That's good. Yeah. Energy drinks are fun. Oh, they're fun, all right. <laughs> I wanted one, like, on the way here. You crave it. Are you like like fiending? Are you gonna? I'm not like fiending, but I. Okay. Okay. The camera died, so we don't know where we stopped. Sorry. It was something about like energy drinks and. I don't know. Yeah. Also, I'm realizing that your shot looks way fucking cooler than mine because of the lamp in the background. Yeah, maybe because of the lamp. Well, well, I don't know what the fuck else would be. It could also just be, you know, the person in the shop. No, can't be. No, I actually can't be. Can't be. I don't know. I'm kind of looking and I'm thinking, like, if I had to vote for one, like, person who looked cooler, I'm leaning towards this one. But that's fine. Uh, we had so much downtime to prepare and then we just didn't. I apologize. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, speaking of that camera. Okay. That's a new camera that mm. I bought. Mm-hmm. 
um and i love it i've gotten into photography a little bit no shit yeah i'm trying to oh i'm trying God. to understand all the little uh, it's a lot of like technical shit that like you. i have to get into like shutter speed and aperture and iso and shit like that i wouldn't know if you're making up words right now exactly right <laughs> I, wouldn't, I don't even know that shit but it's all uh because i'm noticing like a lot of people getting into like cameras and stuff which is so cool like everyone wants like a digicam which is awesome but like a lot of no i'm not judging anyone because i'm the same way but like we just kind of get the camera and then that's it we take pictures with it okay right. cool <clears throat> and I, i'm sure a lot of cameras are designed that way like um to like not be complicated like and to not have to learn all the shit that i'm learning right now yeah. but i think it's like a good skill to have just because like there's some times where like you want to take pictures of something and then it just comes out looking like kind of like shit to be yeah. honest because like we don't know what we're doing ever because and i don't think it's anyone's fault i just think it's like our hands have been held since like we were fucking born because my first camera was like an iphone pretty much yeah um i mean that's kind of a lie about other cameras but like you know you mostly just point and then it does its thing yeah. i'm mean, sorry you shoot it does its thing and then that's kind of the end of it yeah but yeah i'm trying to get into like the whole schematics of it all and shit like that so that's been fun and on top of it all, I'm learning. I mean, I knew this about myself already, but like, I will never stop picking up hobbies and shit. Oh, no shit. I will never fucking stop. Wow. Has that been clear to anyone? I do so much shit. Guys, Josh does a lot of things. Just because I like doing it. This. Just because I fuck with it. I love this to be in my space. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I mean, we're like, this couch is not that big. Um. um yeah i just i like doing a lot of shit i really think like i don't have limits at all like when i'm like fucking 80 years old that's when i'll like learn how to play like the the trumpet or something i don't know yeah why not fuck it i think some people are like oh i'm too old for this that's a brittle spirit right there guy like me doesn't give a fuck how old or young I am. I'm going to be doing this shit because I like it. I love that. What's your excuse, fuckers? Well, how do you know they don't have hobbies? Because they're on YouTube. I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No. I'm on YouTube all the time. I'm just joking. And I'm on YouTube plenty. I'm on YouTube shorts, bro. Oh my gosh. Perhaps we can close out with what has consumed a lot of my time lately. Okay. There are people on the internet that I I could cry. I could die for. Their names are Aubrey and Wood. And I found them on TikTok and they're very viral on TikTok. And they, you know that there's a trend. Are you crying? I just love them. There's a trend where like <laughs> you, you hold like you your talking? phone and you like put like, like um like like a word or a phrase you say on it and then it's usually like friends or partners and it's like i guess you haven't heard of it Mm -mm. it's hard for me to explain which is what i'm worried about um it's just like it's like if you and your friend have like a like the phrase is like bestie dictionary like things that like you would only say i was trying to i wanted us to like film it but i was trying to think of oh i have seen okay something like that yeah 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 yeah. yeah. so basically they did that and they went viral because everyone was just like oh my god they're soulmates like i've never seen two people more meant for each other they like know all of their are these like babies they're not oh i thought they were babies this whole time when did (laughs) i get that i don't know are they grown-ass men no they're a couple, oh, they're Aubrey a couple. and Wood. I'll show you Aubrey and Wood. Um, Aubrey and Wood? But they're, well, his name is Alex Wood, but he goes by his last name. I'm on our account. Basically, oh, one of our TikToks has 45 likes right now. And I posted it an hour ago. Hey. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, everyone. Um, But no, they made the video and everyone just thought like, oh my God, like world's cutest 
couple like they're so perfect for each other and now i just watch all their tiktoks because they had a beautiful story i'll put this on the screen like okay yeah they had a a beautiful love story because they met in college because their friends put them together because they were like oh my god like they would go great (laughs) together and then they had a falling out in like 2016 and they went no contact but then they reunited at a friend's wedding and they immediately knew like the second they saw each other that they were like in love and now they're gonna get they're they're not engaged yet but they're probably going to get engaged soon and i just i watch all their videos and i just think they're just like they're so happy and so funny and oh my god i just i wish i could be at their wedding i love love and i think they're so perfect you do love love yeah that's cool about you aubrey and wood thank you aubrey and wood i wood is a funny name to me yeah yeah sorry obviously it's not his real name or like first first name sorry Uh um i just thought you're talking about drake for some reason (laughs) when i saw you wrote that down i was like aubrey no aubrey no aubrey weinstein (laughs) sorry about that um i forgot how much time we have left 25 and 30 five so i mean we could kind of stop whenever we had over an hour we just we can end on one last topic i don't know what the fuck is gonna be Oh, you went to Marquez's concert. Oh, no, that's going to take a while. That's for next time. Okay, Jesus Christ. I can do Felipe. What the fuck is Felipe? (laughs) This is also on the topic of what I spend my time on TikTok doing. There's a a man or a boy. or I mean, he's grown. He's probably like 20-something. A man or a boy. His name is Felipe, and he's so funny. Give it up for Felipe. Um, I'll show you what Felipe looks like. Hold on. Okay. Felipe, his main thing is he'll do those like filters where you need to like rank stuff, but he is so funny because he'll go, oh, yeah. <laughs> Vegetables. Oh no. Veganism. Be- oh, veganism. Yeah. I love Felipe. I've been spending a lot of time looking at Felipe too love felipe yeah that's my guy for sure it's so like whenever i get off of tiktok it's so like weird hearing someone say anything about the app (laughs) because i'm like what the fuck is going on i wish you'd had known felipe who did you have like tiktokers you really liked when you were on it or you were just on your free i've never been like a fan of like a tiktoker Mm -hmm. you know what i mean Mm -hmm. i just see videos right i just i can't i don't view it that way yet i guess because i know it's definitely a thing but like for me the only platform that like i actually like see people as like a face or like i don't know how to say this but like youtubers and stuff like that like people who exist on that platform and like only go on that platform type shit yeah like tiktok i don't view it that way Mm -hmm. i still view it as like a i don't even know what i view it as like instagram i guess but like for people who like to make short form content right nothing i said just made sense no that's okay it's cool it's cool it happens i just don't get it still i want to get it i mean i kind of get it but also like even like when i'm watching like youtube shorts or whatever like what's that i just i get pissed off so fast from like the editing because i'm like do you think i'm a fucking two-year-old right when you cut every five seconds and you have to caption every little fucking word incorrectly by the way because you just <laughs> let you let fucking tiktok caption do its thing you don't bother correcting yeah. it and it's just like it's so fast that there's sound effects every like two seconds and shit like that i mean this is just for the stuff that i get yeah. it seems like you don't get this type of shit but like i don't know i just don't get it no for sure i don't get it sometimes something will go viral i'm like i don't fucking get it um i don't want to sound like an old ass man i do not trust that fucking baby though that got viral recently i, I love that don't baby fucking trust four that seasons thing. orlando baby i love four seasons orlando baby oh my god kill it and you know she's a girl put it down she's a girl put it down i love her four seasons Orlando her baby. it's a robot <laughs> you'll oh notice if you watch the video if you watch the video the father of that thing taps on its belly <laughs> inputting 
the code of what the baby should fucking say. <laughs> the baby should say. <laughs> it's a robot. It's a fucking me, <laughs> bitch. What the fuck is that? What is that? That's not right. You don't do that. My mom took me to church yesterday <clears throat> at a different Let's parish. go. Let's go. But she took me to a parish I've never been to that's like in like woodland hills like not, okay, i would not know it not near us there's like two or three parishes we always go to here and she wanted to go somewhere else and literally it felt like everyone there was a robot during <laughs> peace they all turned around and they went and it was like scary and then it was it was like a it was like a 30 minute like friday mass like it's meant to be quick so there weren't any songs but then at the end when the priest like walks down the aisle to like leave they all started singing at the same time i was like how do we all know to sing this song i thought this was a no song mass and they all just went oh <laughs> so i was terrified I, I was, I was, it was so scary i literally like no one felt real it was strange that is weird as fuck yeah. i'm so used to how we do things here yeah that, like, exactly or i like barely go to like where you like went but mm -hmm. um but it's like it's still it's like similar at yeah. least also when i whenever i go to church and shit it's like I feel like the youngest person there every time. Oh, it's just old people. It's just pe it's just old, old people. Old people. It's just and I'm not I'm not saying that to be rude. I'm just saying there's like a lack True. of our age group in the church. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, let's get into churches. <laughs> That's why I'm laughing. It sounds let's, like let's sound like youth. <laughs> sound like youth. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking youth ministers, people. Yeah. I got asked to do that one time. Bye. I was doing confirmation. Did you do confirmation? Yes, I did. I was doing confirmation, not which is a fucking, if you're not Catholic, I'm sorry. I don't know how to explain this shit to you. I'm so sorry. You just, like, need to prove you love God, even if you've been at Yeah, church for, like, because, like, when you're years. a kid, it's, like, not really your choice. And yeah. it's also, and but then you get, like, a little older, you're still a kid, kind of, and you're like, okay, you gotta prove, and it's your choice. It's not no, your choice. It's not your choice. It's your not parents your choice. are gonna make you go! Yeah. I don't know why you said it like that, but it's true. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like an old man. <laughs> your parents are gonna make you go! Um, but it's, like, a sacrament type shit. I'm sure every religion has, like, a different form of, of it, or whatever um but i was doing that and like a lot of the people like kind of in charge and like running it were like youth i don't even call that like youth ministers yes yeah youth people who were like in college or high school mm -hmm. and they talked to like the kids who were like also kind of in high school um this is not me being rude this is just me making an observation a lot of these youth ministers like they like were not very like sociable Mm. like and they didn't know how to like at least like i don't know how to say this they didn't know how to like engage with like our age group and maybe gen z is just really hard to engage with i get it right but like um i don't know it was just super weird but like i was really um i was cool with them like the main person running it who was like way older not way older sorry that's like rude to me she was like in her 20s mm. um but she was super cool and she was like you know you can <laughs> We'd love to have you on. I'm like, nice try, <laughs> motherfucker. I'm not doing yeah. I'm not, I am not doing that. <laughs> no, thank you. Mm -mm. Love um, the religion, though. For Shout sure. out re religion. John Mulaney has this funny thing where he said, like, when he was little, he went to, like, um, a Catholic school, like a private Catholic school, and there was religion class but they only ever focused on one religion. Yeah. <laughs> Why did we call it religion? Yeah. I no, didn't learn about real. shit else. Like, yeah. I forgot. No. I don't even remember that shit. No. Do you guys remember that shit? Pop quiz. Seven days. What did God do on the seventh day? Wrong. He rested on the seventh day. He built a new earth with blackjacks and hookers that's a reference to something sorry i don't even know what that's from um i hope you guys enjoyed our multicam yeah i hope the cuts are not I too hope obnoxious josh enjoyed editing it i actually will because okay. i know how to cut multicam and i know Same. how to do it the fast way because i'm fucking smart okay okay call us young sheldon the way we are multicam <laughs> um <laughs> multi what multicam young sheldon is multicam 
or actually no i'm lying i meant big bang theory i meant big bang theory big bang theory what is, the fuck are you talking about the difference between big bang theory and young children is the way they were shot that's the difference well, I, that's can, one I can name a few others okay well it was something i had to talk about when i wrote my article about it anyway multi, every show you can was find multi-cam. us no yes every show was but multi-cam. the way it's no 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 oh am i just so wrong I'm this educated. is a real thing if you look at sitcoms now it's gonna piss me off because i don't know which one okay, is okay quick before we outro go let's go okay okay basically when you think of big bang theory you think of a set where the studio audience is this way yeah and then everything else is here okay and then there's multiple cameras picking up on everything at the same time i believe young sheldon i was there at their dumbass house set whoa 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 their cool house their cool house set it's one house there is no studio audience so there's one camera at a time that's my belief at a time they don't have multiple cameras pointing at multiple cast members well i mean even if they do the concept is that it's like i get what you mean yeah anyhow like disney channel shows or like multicam mm-hmm. well <laughs> <laughs> you can find us <laughs> on youtube spotify apple podcast amazon music um you can follow find us, us on, on Instagram media. and TikTok at Junior Varsity Show. We do non-podcast things on our YouTube channel if you want to look at our variety content. And we'll be back next week or yes. for some in two minutes. <laughs> for some? <laughs> for us. <laughs> yes. In two minutes. And you can follow at Avila Region on Instagram for more updates on what I do. And at Victoria Monk, if you want to see me look hot sometimes. <laughs> Complete for <their> office. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye.